Now, related to this, and as you and I know, there is a lot more virtue signalling involved in climate policy making than there is economics. There's a much bigger focus on sanctimonious stunts in climate politics than there is on scientific debate. And here's more evidence to prove this thesis. <laughs> This is the Spanish Climate Minister, Teresa Ribera, arriving at her own EU climate conference in Valladolid in Spain's northwest. As you can see, she arrives on her bike. She's pushing cycling as the climate-friendly option, of course. The only thing is, reports claim she flew into Valladolid on a government jet. Then she was driven in a limousine to the conference and just had the bike pulled out of the boot a hundred metres around the corner from the venue. Fair dinkum, a private jet, a special limo and hey presto, onto the bike for the final push where the cameras were waiting. This was planes, limos and push bikes. She's since claimed that she wasn't on the government jet and travelled by car, but she still pulled out the bike right at the end. And the cracker in this stunt was, well, you just have a look at these pictures again. The limos were still there. Two of them, I don't know, for security or to carry her bags. The limos front and back still made the drive to the venue anyway, so they didn't save a gram of carbon dioxide. These people, they give clowns a bad name. This hilarious episode, episode is a, it's a carbon copy, and, and that pun is intentional. It's a carbon copy of the stunt by US Energy Secretary Pete Buttigieg, who had his security detail pull out a bike from his motorcade in Washington two years ago so that he could arrive at the White House for a cabinet meeting arriving on his bike. Now, again, the gas-guzzling limo still has to trail him, so there are no emissions saved at all. This stuff is just so silly, isn't it? But it's also highly revealing. It just illustrates how superficial these people are, how science and economics is the least of their concerns, it's all about stunts and virtue signalling and vibes and memes. And we all pay for the idiotic policies that, that they implement as they slavishly follow political fashion and they chase media adulation, rather than do what they're paid to do, which is to deliver reliable, affordable and sustainable energy.